Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of What Does YOLO Mean To Me? My name is Jason Edward, I play the role of Psycho and I am your host for this episode. <laughs> Yo, Psycho. Psycho. Shall it be okay? I know they see what up. Why they play football match? Eh? Boy, boy, I get some bad infection. Psycho. Psycho. You know, say you get good with that. You repeat, you know they come, eh? You know they come. Oh, my lord. Psycho. Shock you, you man. This infection, I never get some before. I never get so before. One night though, just one night, see what this girl called. Melody be stupid! Hey, hey, hey. Shut up for them. I left condom for the room. What you do? You don't do anything. Right now, gonorrhea is part of you. If you shout, people gonna know you get gonorrhea. Who they care who they hear me? Eh? See what are they go through? I go beat them! Hey, 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 hey. You do know that. You see, you better go and look for your partner. I'm going to the clinic for, for treatment. What does YOLO mean to me? It's a show where we invite our cherished audience to tell us the impact the series has had on their lives as well as discuss the adolescent sexual and reproductive health issues springing out of the YOLO TV serial to help us live a good life. Remember, as young people, one of the ways we can enjoy our good lives is to always exercise and eat balanced diet, now called the Four Star Diet, to remain healthy all the time. Also, to enjoy a good life in this COVID-19 era, we have to be cautious to stay safe. Always wash your hands with soap and running water. Do not hug or shake hands. Use hand sanitizers. Avoid touching your mouth or face. And ensure you maintain physical distance of about two meters between you and others when in public. And also, avoid crowded places. Don't forget to use your masks when in public. I will be speaking with a couple of YOLO fans and they will be discussing what YOLO means to them. I will let them introduce themselves and tell us why they love YOLO. Hello everyone, my name is Veronica Isia Kunyami. I'm 20 years of age and a student of International Travel and Tourism Institute. YOLO means a lot to me because with YOLO, I get to have fun and also learn a lot from it. I'm Suleiman Fridals. I'm 18 years old. I just completed SHS last year, which is West African Senior High School. I've watched YOLO. It's educative and fun. My favorite character is Jackie Apia. I'm Joshua Kuto. I'm 18 years of age, and I'm a student of Kofoyuja Technical Institute. YOLO to me is lifestyle. It has given me guidelines to life. Hello there. My name is Mary Magdalena Joa. I'm 17 years of age, a third year student of St. Catherine Girls senior high school and I love YOLO because it's entertaining and then it shows me how to live my life as an adolescent and how I should go about with my friends and abstain from certain things. Hey y'all, my name is Krista Bojewa. I'm a first year student of Mount Sinai Senior High School and I'm 16 years of age. YOLO is my favorite um, adolescent TV series because it has impacted my life so much. It helped me avoid bad friend peer pressure and it helped me live a chase life till now. First topic for this episode is unprotected sex and its consequences. Before we dive into the discussion, let's watch some scenes from the Yolo TV series. How did you find out I was pregnant? See Jane, that not my matter. I just don't want to go preg you, that be all. I just want to know how you found out. Was that wanted to told you? So why did you solve the question? Why are you even asking me that question? Do you think I go sleeping around or what? Shut up for the whole end of my house. Why are we even here anyways? Why are we in Zero's house and not your house? You know I, I don't know your house. Every time I, I ask you, you I tell think me. I talk you say my should be some way. So relax, make a deal. No, I won't relax. I have to know your house. I have to know your sisters. They have to know me. Sick of you go preg or wait. What? What's the matter? Just my mom asking questions because I was at home last night. I go preg. I impregnated myself, right? Okay, whatever. Me a break you. Where you eat talk about? Well. Jane, you sure say be me a break you. So go off. Me mama got to condom. You know they break anyhow. There's no way I could feel break you. No, your ancestors did. What do you take me for? If I wanted a responsible person to accuse of pregnancy, you think it would be you? You think I go sleeping around or what? Charles, do you think I go sleeping behind your back? So what you don't make her talk? 
You can ask all the girls. Ask Antoinette. They all know about it. Charlie, see, if it be too much time to talk, and then I'm going say, make it. Charles, my ex made me do an abortion. I am not having one again. I am too scared. Oh, you go jam. You go jam. I go make you come out in your eyes, your nose. You go do everything for the system inside. Wait till I meet your sister's friend. Wait, law. In my house, they can't tell law for. Go tell law for any other place, not in my house. What is unprotected sex? Unprotected sex is means having sex without the use of contraceptives or a condom. Unprotected sex is when you have sex without contraceptives and um, a condom. Unprotected sex is involving yourself in sexually related activities without a condom or contraceptive. Unprotected sex is the act of indulging in sexual activities without any form of protection. Why is it important to be cautious of unprotected sex? Unprotected sex can lead to many sexual transmitted diseases. Interesting. It's important to be cautious of unprotected sex because it may lead to a lot of problems such as teenage pregnancy and contraction of STIs. It is important to be cautious of unprotected sex because you have to abstain from certain things you wouldn't want to regret later in life. Hmm. What are some of the consequences of unprotected sex? Some of the consequences of unprotected sex are uh, gonorrhea and syphilis. Some of the consequences of unprotected sex is you getting STI and uh, teenage pregnancy. Um, some consequences of unprotected sex are contraction of STIs, teenage pregnancy, which will also cause dropping out of school. How can you avoid unprotected sex? We can avoid unprotected sex by abstinence. You can avoid unprotected sex by living a chaste life and avoiding peer pressure. Avoid unprotected sex by abstaining. What should you do when you have unprotected sex? When you have unprotected sex, you should visit the nearby hospital for a checkup. Mm. When you have unprotected sex, you can speak to somebody you trust for guidance. When you have unprotected sex, the best thing for you to do is go to the hospital for a checkup. Once you have unprotected sex, you should run to the nearest hospital or clinic to see a doctor. Alright. Do you know the adolescent health service providers in your community? I do not know the adolescent health services in my community. I guess you do. Yeah, I do. I do know the health service, adolescent health service providers in my community. I do know the adolescent health service providers in my community. No, I do not know any adolescent health service provider in my community. Now let's hear what some of our fans in other parts of the country have to say about this topic. They have sent in their views through our social media platforms at YOLO TV series on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and on WhatsApp. Hello guys, I'm Emily, I'm 18 years and I'm at Dan Simon. Okay, so YOLO has been impacted a lot to me because it has taught me how to make smart choices and also being a positive influence to myself and to my friends. Unprotected sex is basically having sex without a condom and it's also very important to be conscious about unprotected sex because it can lead you to risking pregnancy. Some of the consequences of unprotected sex is getting STIs which are the sexually transmitted infections including HIV. You can avoid unprotected sex by having sex with a condom or avoiding all forms of distractions which will lead you to having an unprotected sex. When you have an unprotected sex or you've had an unprotected sex, you seek medical advice or attention from a doctor or pharmacist nearby. Bye! Wow, some interesting comments right there. Our next topic is STIs. Yeah, that's why I keep on beating you. Okay. 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 Guys, 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 Charlie! Hello, hello! What's up? They, they play chat as you. They look worried over Charlie, Psycho told me something right here. Yeah. Uh, what did he say? Charlie, make a kung fu. Mm. E! Ah, spill it. I feel like you forgot the STI test. Mm. <laughs> that your small girl, Madoli. Charlie, I didn't ah, say she gets STI. Adoli, yes, yes, girl. Of course. Adoli, hey. And who told you this? Hey, monster. Hey. Adoli, the SS girl, be you your girl. 
You be snake. George. If I call Psycho and he says he didn't tell you anything, eh? You see this circumference, eh? Make you no pass here. They will go kill you. Are they come? 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 Green snake. Hola, Psycho. Make you call him. What George is talking to you? Be like a foul. I don't tell you. Connection lost. No, wait. I don't tell you. You see? So this so monster. This thing is true, George. I did beg. This should remain between the three of us. Okay, please. I did beg you. Hey, George. Monster, this thing here, Charlie be like, this is we have a syndrome bad me. No, no, wait. This thing if I no talk up. My ear go do me ting, ting, ting. You know, more go do me. So I go I no go fear assure you. To confuse. See, me I go save everybody for this community. Ah, no, base, base, base. Make a no talk, make where we get SCIs for the hood. Oh, you lie. Very good. What are STIs? STI is a transmitted infection which is passed or transmitted from one person to another during sexual intercourse. STIs are sexually transmitted infections. STIs are sexually transmitted infections that are contracted when you have unprotected sex. STIs are sexually transmitted infections that we contract during unprotected sex. Do you know or have you heard about some STIs? Yes, I've heard about some STIs. Yeah, I've heard about STIs and I've heard that they are deadly and can cause a lot of problems to your health. Yes, I have heard about STIs. What STIs have you heard about? Gonorrhea, genital herpes, HIV AIDS, syphilis and candidiasis. What are some of the symptoms associated with STIs? So these are some of the symptoms of STI that I know. Pains during urination, fever and excessive vaginal bleeding. And what are some of the known consequences of STIs? Loss of lives, because if you in involve yourself into it, you might lose your life afterwards. Mm. Some of the consequences are bad body odor, feeling uncomfortable when you are in public. Mm. When you don't treat your STI, some of the consequences may lead to you damaging your reproductive system. STIs cause bad health. Because once you have STIs, you are always sick. STIs also cause stigmatization in your community. Now let's hear what some of our fans in other parts of the country have to say about this topic. They have sent in their views through our social media platform at YOLO TV series on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on WhatsApp. Hello, my name is Patient Zaswinters. Hello, my name is Mickey Blanco. The Yolo TV series has really impacted a lot of positive lifestyle in me when we talk of peer group influence. I was easily carried away by bad peers. I was easily influenced. I, I wasn't able to make choices on my own. But since I started watching Yolo TV series, I'm able to make decisions on my own and then I've popped out from bad Yellow means a lot to me and I've had a great impact. It has actually helped me to make and take my own decisions as, as I was growing up as an adolescent. It has really helped me a lot in my everyday life. So back to the question number. I'll be answering, I'll be tackling question two, which talks about STIs. So, um, STI. So, the full meaning of STI means sexually transmitted infections. I guess it already explains itself, but I will throw a little light on that. So, sexually transmitted infections are um, infections transmitted through sexual contact, through sexual contact, which are caused by bacterial um, parasites or virus yes i've heard about some um stis some of the stis i've heard about um are the gondo the syphilis the hiv AIDS, and the hepatitis b the chlamydia the trichomoniasis it is very important to be cautious of unprotected sex because you can get stis 
for having unprotected sex. Some of the consequences of unprotected sex are one, you can you can have HIV. HIV is and is we all know is is very deadly. Like you die, you die definitely. Those are some interesting comments there. What is your take on the topics discussed today? Do you think it is necessary to have yourself examined for STIs after having unprotected sex? What are some of the ways to prevent STIs? Let us know what you think by sending your comments via WhatsApp, video or text to the number displayed on your screen. Also, you can log on to our social media platform at YOLO TV series on Facebook, Instagram and on Twitter and drop your comments right there. Remember, you could receive a message from your favorite Yolo star. Your host for next week's episode of What Does Yolo Mean to Me is Lololi Kwashiga, who plays An. Hi, my name is Lololi Kwashiga. You know me as An. Please join us next week as we discuss teenage pregnancy and menstruation. Anne, how are you? Sit, sit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Your mom said she couldn't make it, but she asked me to give you something. Thank you. And you too. I hope you girls are taking good care of yourselves. Yes, mommy. Mm. But wait, why do you need an extra part? Yeah, well, there's this girl in Anne's dorm mm. and she's having her period. She doesn't know what her parents about it, so I'm just helping her out. <sighs> period is not anything to be shy of. Mm -hmm. It's actually something special every girl experiences. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I actually told her. So I'm helping her, I'm teaching her how to keep herself clean. <sighs> You're doing a good job. Thank I'm you. so proud of you. <laughs> All too soon, guys. We have to say goodbye, but stay tuned for next week's episode. Remember, to enjoy a good life in this COVID-19 era, we have to be cautious to stay safe. Always wash your hands with soap and a runny water. Do not hug or shake hands. Use hand sanitizers. Avoid touching your mouth or face. And ensure you maintain physical distance of about two meters between you and others when in public. And also, avoid crowded places. Don't forget to use your masks when in public. Remember to live a good life. Good life, live it well. Good life, it's an everyday thing. YOLO, you only live once. My name is Jason Edwards, AKA Psycho, AKA 80s, and I'm out. <laughs>